So, movement is one of the core mechanics of Valorant, and you need to learn it to be able to improve as a player. When we talk about movement, it's more than being able to bunny hop or make hard, pixel-perfect jumps. We're talking about the movement before, during, and after gunfights. Sometimes it's hard to look back at your own gameplay and determine if something is a mistake or not without the right knowledge. So, today I'll be giving you 5 movement mistakes that you might be making in your games. Then, with this new knowledge, you can analyze your own gameplay and check if you're making any of these mistakes. Since movement is one of the most important things to master in Valorant though, it's probably a good idea to make sure you get all the help you can get. The higher you climb, the more difficult it can be to tell whether your movement or your aim is the issue. That's why we went through the extra effort to break down countless games submitted by you guys, to really showcase how to pick out what issues you need to improve upon. Over at Skillcapped, you can find all the VOD reviews uploaded in full, along with commentaries from Radiant level players showcasing how to properly implement these tactics. All this backed by our rank improvement guarantee means there's literally no reason not to give it a look. Let's get into our first mistake, but if you're really looking to improve, be sure to check out Skillcapped and we'll see you there. Now, for the first mistake, I wanted to tell you something that most people don't talk about. It's about the way you move after you throw a flash around a corner. We've all been there. We flash around a corner, swing and see two full blind enemies, and then right when you're gonna shoot, you get killed while they're blind. This has to be one of the most annoying feelings in Valorant because you did the right thing. You used utility and your enemy was outplayed, but with good crosshair placement and a little bit of luck, they still killed you. But we can lessen the chances of this happening by switching the way we swing that angle. The mistake is swinging either too early or too predictable. Most players swing really predictably after they flash, so I'll be giving you two techniques that you can use next time you play a flash agent. First, you can just wait an extra of half a second and then swing. This will lower the chances of randomly dying because they'll be spraying their weapons for that half second which activates recoil. The second option, which isn't talked about a lot, is jumping around the corner when swinging. Now, the reason one might do this is to make their head a lot higher than it normally would be if you just swing. The chances of getting headshot now are a lot lower. It, this is a risky option, but try it in your games and see if it works for you. Mistake number two has to do with how you swing with a teammate. If you and your teammate want to double swing an enemy, you guys should communicate who will swing wide. Now, this is important because if it's not properly communicated, you guys could accidentally line yourselves up, giving the enemy an easy double kill. Swinging wide allows space for the teammate to swing close. It also drags the enemy's crosshair away from the second teammate who's swinging, which makes it almost impossible to get the double kill. I have seen it so many times. People swing on top of each other and it just screws everyone over. But on the bright side, at least you guys are swinging together. It's just the execution that people need to work on. Just remember to communicate and decide who should swing wide. This is also way easier to do with a duo or with someone you know, because you can trust they'll follow through with the plan. Here's an example from Optic vs Paper Rex. Optic is in a 4v4 retake and Ye had a great round. Ye exits out, finds a kill, then he's close to crashies, and they're about to swing default. If you look closely, they almost lined up, but Ye slows down just for a half second, which gives him and Crashies a little bit of space to swing together. Benkai was able to find the kill on Crashies, but because Ye and Crashies swung together perfectly, he was traded instantly. Our next mistake is something everyone knows, but no one ever puts into practice. It's common knowledge that if you're predictable, it makes you an easier target to kill. But the problem or mistake that people make is they fall under habits and it makes them predictable. Mistake number three is when people swing the same distance for every angle. There are multiple types of swings and peaks, but predictable players don't use any of these and swing the same distance every time. If you close swing every single angle, people can readjust their crosshair placement and punish you for being predictable. So do not be afraid to swing just a little longer than you're used to to throw off the enemy. Just to name a few swings you can use, you have your close swing, normal swing, wide swing, and even jump peeking is an option sometimes. The big thing is just recognizing your own patterns and thinking about how the enemy could hold an angle against you. Mistake number four is not about how your movement looks or how fast it is, but rather how loud you are. So many players give up vital info just because they make noise on jumps that could have been done silently. You probably know that if you hold your walk key while jumping a box, you're silent. 
but what some of you might not know is that you can also drop down boxes silently, but it is a little more difficult. A great example of this is on ascent when you're in between tree and heaven. There are a few boxes you can jump on to go up and down heaven, but if you hold shift going down the boxes, you will make noise. Now that's where this tech will come in handy. What you want to do, hold shift, and when you're on the edge of the box, hold crouch, and when you're falling, uncrouch. This should make you completely silent, and it's great for 1v1s when you don't want to give your opponent any information. Try it a few times in a custom game to get the feeling. After you learn this, you'll start to recognize other areas you can apply the same tech. Another movement tip is being able to move upstairs faster without making a noise. What you want to do is get some speed, then hold your walk key while tapping jump every single time you land. This is great on Haven A site because you're able to silently jump all the way to the top and that allows you to retake faster or catch a timing from the enemy. This last mistake makes players very easy to kill, and it's something you're not even thinking about. When your agent goes from a stop position to a full speed sprint, it takes a little bit of time to reach max speed. You build up speed until you hit your max speed, and then you can slow down instantly by counter strafing. Now, why is this important? It's important because most people don't think about this when swinging into a gunfight. Most players don't give themselves enough space to swing at full speed, which makes them a much easier kill. They appear slower on the enemy's POV, and that means you have less time to react and aim. Now, to stop this habit, you gotta think about how you're gonna swing consciously. Before you swing someone, you need to ask yourself if you're too close or too far away from the angle. Soon, this will be a habit, and you won't have to think about it at all. The most important thing is to build up this good habit so you don't have to retrain yourself on how to swing an angle. And that is five movement mistakes that you might be making. We hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day. That's all we got for our video today, but remember that if you're really looking to improve at Valorant, I highly recommend checking out skillcap.com. We get it, you're just a player trying to get better at the game. That's why you're watching this video in the first place. You're capable of hitting that rank you deserve but there's no shame in asking for a little help. At skillcap.com, we spend hours going through viewer submitted replays to let you know all the mistakes that you're making. We also couple this with our Smurf commentaries to show players that it is possible to carry themselves out of whatever rank they're stuck in. It might seem hopeless at times, but trust me when I say we can help you out. All you have to do is check out skillcap.com. Link in the description below.